As we know the military has a lot of cool stuff. But did you know about the existence of these high-tech devices? This is just some tech with today. 10 high-tech military gadgets. To what extent you can call them gadgets? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tech videos. Let's begin. At our number 10, we have the Tech Torch. In 2015 did the United States Air Force along with Energetic Materials and Products Incorporated successfully developed a welding torch that can easily pierce through thick metal like a piece of cake. It is a very safe gadget and can burn through almost anything with its nearly 2700 Celsius. You can compare it to a lightsaber burning through the Sith Lord. The need for this kind of gadget was long pending as breaching and lock picking often take crucial time and high-end explosives are just not the options sometimes. The number 9 is the One-Shot XG. Aiming and successfully hitting a target on 1000 meters away is indeed a breathtaking maneuver. There are many external factors that can force the bullet to change its path, such as wind speed, psoriasis force, terrain etc. Although it is up to them how they control such factors, a little help from technology can come real handy. In 2013, DARPA annexed the Advanced One-Shot XG program to increase the efficiency of military snipers. The program revolves around a small, mountable scope system that can either be placed on its spotting score or on the weapon's barrel. The scope is designed to automatically calculate a number of decisive variables, such as wind conditions, weapon alignments etc., using an internal OS. The number 8 of today is the Exacto. The Extreme Accuracy Tasked Ordnance Program is a project initiated by DARPA, in which they are developing a class of smart and self-guided bullets that can change their projected path during the flight to align with the movement of the target or due to any external factors that may drive the bullet off course. It has an advanced real-time optical guidance systems that lets you track and direct projectiles' bullets to their targets by adjusting for weather, wind, target movement and other factors. In 2016, Russia also revealed that they are already working on a similar smart bullet designed to hit targets at a distance of up to 10 kilometers. Number 7 is the Throbit XT. The Throbit XT is an stealthy and easy-to-deploy tactical robot which efficiently be used during various search and rescue missions. These little bots can transmit audio and video signals from normally inaccessible areas, making detection of illegal and explosive materials more easier. It is also equipped with an infrared mechanism that activates whenever there is a low supply of light, so it can operate in complete darkness. At the number 6 we have the big dog. Whether it's a war or not, soldiers have to carry heavy weights along with them all the time. Sure military man has much higher enduric than any common man, but they are still also humans. So back in 2005, DARPA along with Boston Dynamics worked on a concept where a computer-controlled robot would come along with the military to carry their heavy weights. Unfortunately the program was cancelled due to its impracticality. But we cannot deny that it was a very strong device with its maximum load limit of 10 kg. Halfway on our number 5 we have the corner shot. Corners, you must hate those corners from where you can shoot your target while playing a FPS game. Well, the corner shot is a solution for just that problem, but in the real world. The corner shot has an integrated video camera that provides a video feed to the front screen, which has been proven very helpful to the soldier. On the number 4 we have the Stat Rapid Hemostasis System. Well, this is an interesting one. The Rapid Hemostasis System or STAT is a revolutionary technique to stop excessive blood loss due to injuries on the battlefield. Generally, a simple tourniquet is used in these circumstances, which are successful most of the times. But a US-based medical firm has come up with an efficient way to stop blood loss completely. The technique includes an injector syringe and tablets look alike sponges that inflate when comes in contact with the wound. These sponges are actively covered by hemostatic, blood-stopping, agent. Evidently, the wound can be completely filled with inflated sponges in less than 15 seconds, allowing hemostasis to kick in and completely stopping the blood loss. On the number 3 we have the liquid armor. The liquid armor is perhaps the most advanced armor till date, which is still under research by MIT and United States Army Research Laboratory or ARL. The liquid armor consists of a synthetic fiber, Kevlar, soaked in a special thickening fluid. 
These types of fluids reacts differently under various circumstances. All tests till date showed that when a brute force is applied at a certain point of that liquid-soaked Kevlar, it gets extremely hardened. The fluid used in this is known as non-Newtonian fluid, STF. The number 2 is DARPA's PCAS. In normal close air support conditions, air and ground units have to solely rely on voice communications and base maps to perform premeditated attacks. The technique is imprecise and sometimes slow. To change that DARPA came with a truly revolutionary idea, PCAS. The PCAS or persistent close air support's primary goal is to increase effectiveness of the air support by enabling dismounted ground agents like JTACs, Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, and Combat Crews to share real-time situational awareness and weapon systems information. It would enable ground-based agents to accurately identify multiple targets simultaneously. And finally on the number one we have the Zoz 2 Exoskeleton. This robotic suit can increase the strength, endurance and agility of a human to a certain level where he can be called as a superhuman. The next generation Zoz 2 suit is comprised of much lighter material and consume almost half of the energy consumed earlier by its predecessor Zoz 1. Zoz 2 works with a combination of controllers and high-end sensors. It features reinforced aluminium and steel, which are crucial for performing various tasks. It also uses high-pressure hydraulics to allow its user to lift almost any heavy objects at an amazing ratio of 17-1. With this, humans can lift heavy weights without any exhaustion and injury. And to be honest, it looks epic. This were 10 high-tech military gadgets. I hope you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos and like this video. It will help me a lot. I hope to see you in the next video, Saya.